Paintings and drawings entail family, ingenuity, architecture, places of hope, ownership, and preservation. This type of storytelling develops, retains, and inspires our legacy so that it remains in existence. Style-wise, that live off the land work ethic lends towards the extensive discipline needed for the composition, color, and design of representational artwork. Undergrad was a very strong introduction towards the basis of drawing and painting. From foundation year to major, there was an undying fascination to further perfect technique. Graduate school in NYC heightened that sense of training within the visual arts, and thus eventual exposure into that world drawn into NYC culture led to the performing arts. Whether a dance class or a performance, you start your movement from your center, right here. You move from your center when you jump. Mm -hmm. You start from your center when you push that paintbrush to the canvas, right here, your center, mm-hmm. Exhibitions and functions exemplified that real life networking and marketing. As well, there was a camaraderie and of course, you know, that competition, whatever the endeavor, infinite influence spawned, thus burgeoning that ever-blossoming craft. One night at a club in Times Square, seeing a couple dance partner work and footwork was all that it took. Witnessing that NYC Mambo in person was insane. The music carries a dynamic that derives from African, Spanish, and Caribbean culture. That which migrated to New York, which in turn birthed that unique NYC Mambo sound. The music carries a multitude of layers, which just so happened runs parallel to the numerous layers and textures within a painting. A game of chess. A life-size seven and a half foot by five and a half foot painting is such. This self-portrait began with a private viewing in Los Angeles, followed by its inclusion in the artist's traveling exhibition titled Palette at three separate gallery spaces throughout the Las Vegas Clark County Library District. The Palette exhibition continued to the left of Center Gallery in North Las Vegas. From there, this painting, along with a number of other works, traveled to Hearn Fine Art in Little Rock, Arkansas for the well-received Passages, Faces, Street, and Land exhibition. Hearn Fine Art facilitated the continued viewing of the portrait and acquisition of the painting by the Saracen Casino and Resort in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, where the portrait currently hangs in the Red Oak Steakhouse and will eventually move to the High Roller Room for permanent display. The figure within a game of chess adorns a blazer, bow tie, slacks, belt, dress shirt, and dress shoes that are used for dance performances. The large straw hat keeps shade on the artist when painting on location under the sun. The flooring, constructed by the artist himself, is utilized for dance rehearsals and artwork still life stagings. The dark cloth draping the background is a staple for many project backdrops. Such notations encompass the painter's detailed observance, yet, are just as well influenced from the Grand Manor style portraiture of art history's society portrait artists from the 19th, 18th, 17th centuries and prior. And yes, the subject, representing a polarizing dynamic within life's culture and history. Standing unbreakable in spiritual resonance, ingenuity, accomplishment, and foresight. That ever so slight tilt of weight on waist on right leg while projecting unmatched vertical. Hands stabilized at waist in dignified conviction and composition. And of course, those eyes. <laughs> yes, those eyes literally following one at all times, questioning the viewer into thought and ponder. You cool? All right, we cool.
from phones to point and shoot, evolving to a professional mirrorless camera system, how the artwork was documented was very consequential. With the investment and the learning, the opportunity to document high profile projects was unbelievably apparent. With the new visual arts, the Scipio Jones Post Office Portrait Act, United States Bill HR 3317, Public Law Number 116-198 was signed into U.S. law on December 3rd, 2020. Facilitated by Hearn Front Art, this oil portrait titled Scipio Africanus Jones, Moore vs. Dempsey, was a project that entailed the participation of the artist, the client, Hearn Front Art, the Cal State Library, the Arkansas U.S. State Representative, the former acting United States President, and the U.S. Congressional Branch. Scipio Africanus Jones was a civil rights attorney that eventually freed 12 black sharecroppers in 1925 that were wrongfully tried, convicted, and sentenced to death by hanging in 1923. That which resulted from the Elaine Massacre in the summer of 1919 in Elaine, Hoopsburg, Arkansas. The construction of the seven and a half foot by six and a half foot stretched canvas, the painting of the life-size portrait the transportation of the painting from Nevada to Arkansas, the transportation of the painting from the Hearn Auction House to the U.S. Post Office, and the presentation of the unveiling was all documented. Within film, photography, and the performing arts, this entailed Arkansas United, an immigrant resource and advocacy organization based out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. The organization celebrated their existence at the Arkansas United 10th Anniversary Gala at the Presidential Clinton Center in Little Rock, Arkansas. With my mirrorless camera system, three cameras were staged to document my dance performance of Monty, a classic NYC mambo song and footwork routine. This performance was the featured act at the gala. I was also assigned as one of the photographers that documented the event. And just as important, the gala was highlighted with Arkansas United, the beginning today and into the future, a 15-minute documentary highlighting the 10 years of the organization's existence. Translations and script for this short film were provided by the executive director. The remainder of the project was filmed, co-written, and edited and published by yours truly. It's been very intriguing experiencing the visual arts merging with any dance performance and technology spaces. Definitely looking forward to refining each of them and evolving the journey.